Good day, good people, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, a radio and TV personality, Mariji both my died. And the news about her death was shared by a brother on social media on Monday, but the cause of her death is yet to be known. She was well known for being the Zulu lady in white skin, and she showed to fame when she appeared on a TV advert speaking in Nisi Zulu, which got many people talking. Um, Every king pie is folded with the lightest puff pastry, packed with mouth-watering fillings and freshly baked all day. Yeah. Oh, so you like king pie? Yeah, yeah I was good. So when I tell me I eat a lot, when you tell no. Valley for money meals that are mmm delicious. Since then, she landed acting roles in South Africa's most watched soapies and she even spoke at the former president Jacob Zuma's inauguration ceremony. And a couple of weeks ago, she traveled from her home in Tembisa to a close friend Tabang Mochele's home in Transvaal and she said she wanted to rest. Little did they know that this would be their last days together. Both Ma, popularly known as Intombium Zulu, died on Monday at Kopanung Hospital after suffering a short illness. And a friend Mochello transported her to the hospital, said she was struggling to come to terms with her friend's death and recounted feeding and bathing her before she died. I was the one taking care of her while she was sick and my kids also played a very big role in taking care of their auntie. I took her to the hospital and they tried their best before she passed away in the morning. I never expected this so soon and I never thought things would turn out this way. She told she's alive. Both Ma is survived by a daughter Clarice and son Brandon who are left very heartbroken by their mother's passing. Tributes have started pouring in for both Ma and Mochele said she hope Mzansi would remember a friend's contribution to the entertainment industry as she was a bubbly person. She was in Tombium Zulu even though she was white. She was loved by everybody. She was a straight talker and such a funny person. I want people to remember her as Mariji who loved everyone irrespective of their color. She loved the black culture. She was like a black woman with a white skin. She was always helpful and treated everyone equally towards everyone around her. She was a very hardworking person who always wanted to bring out the best of everything she was involved in. This is truly sad. She was only 39 years of age and she had a whole life ahead of her. I would just like to say may her soul rest in internal peace. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe, to like, to comment and to share. Until next time, it's a bye for now.